now that we've reduced the problem to a series of three by three determinants, we need to continue our method and expand the three by three determinants as um, by minors. But since we can easily determine the values of the two, resulting two by two determinants, we're going to combine them into a single step to save a little bit of writing. So this gives us So this is the expansion for this particular term. In blue, we have the expansion for this particular term. In orange, we have the expansion for this particular term. This particular term expands as in black. This particular term we have in the light blue. And then for the last term, we're going to have in red as and this is all equal to zero. We can simplify these terms even further to get where we've simplified each term but kept the same color to show <clears throat> which uh, simplified expression corresponds to which term. Now we're just simply going to combine all the terms to see what we get. We get
So mercifully, we were able to combine all our terms and to a, uh, arrive at a six degree polynomial, which has entirely even powers of x, we notice. And now we need to factor this particular expression. So we can first try a possible root of two, and we can use the technique of synthetic division. So our coefficients are one. Remember that we need to put a zero for the powers of x that don't appear, such as x to the fifth, x to the third, and x. Minus six, zero, nine, zero, minus four. Bring down a one. Two times one is two. Zero plus two is two. Two times four is four. You bring it up into the right. Minus six plus four is minus two. Two times minus two is minus four. Zero plus minus four is minus four. Two times minus four is minus eight. Nine minus eight is one. Two times one is two. Zero plus two is two. Two times two is plus four. So this gives us a remainder of zero, which tells us that x minus two is a genuine root. Therefore, we can factor the polynomial into x minus two, and then these are the coefficients for the other powers of x. So this gives us x to the fifth plus two x to the fourth minus two x cubed minus four x squared plus x plus two. And that at least gives us the first root, which is x equals 2. 2. We can apply the technique of synthetic division yet again using the coefficients of this polynomial, which are 1, 2, minus 2, minus 4, 1, and 2. And now let's try the possible root minus 2. We can guess at uh, possible roots of our polynomial using the rational roots theorem, for example. 1, bring down. Minus 2 times 1 is minus 2. This is 0. Minus 2 times 0 is 0. Minus 2 plus 0 is minus 2. Minus 2 times minus 2 is plus 4. Add these together, we get 0. Minus 2 times 0 is 0. 1 plus 0 is 1. Minus 2 times 1 is minus 2. So again, we get a remainder of 0, which tells us that we have correctly chosen the root. So that tells us that x plus 2 is a factor. We already know that x minus 2 is a factor. And the resulting polynomial that remains is going to be x to the fourth minus 2x squared plus 1 equals zero. And we can recognize that again, we only have positive powers, uh, I mean, even powers of x. So that suggests that we can do the following substitution. Let y equal x squared. If we do that, it transforms this particular quartic polynomial into y squared minus 2y plus 1 equals zero. And this is a quadratic that we can factor on site as y minus 1, y minus 1 equals 0. So this tells us that it has the root y equal 1 and y equal 1. Now we sub back substitute into our substitution of y equals x squared, and this tells us that the roots are going to be for the first case, x is equal to plus or minus 1, and this x equal plus or minus 1. So we have correctly determined that the roots of the polynomial that we found, by solving the secondly determinate equation, the following values of x are. We have plus or minus 1, plus or minus 1, and plus or minus 2. And we can use those to go back to our original suck setup of the Huckel formalism to determine what the energies of benzene actually are. So 
So recall where we started, and we had let that x is alpha minus the energy divided by beta. So now if we take the individual values of x, substitute them into this expression, and solve for E, we get the following energies. So we get six energy levels. The ground state is going to be alpha plus two beta. We get a doubly degenerate state at alpha plus beta. You also have a doubly degenerate alpha minus beta. That's slightly higher in energy because recall that beta is negative. And then the high energy state is going to be alpha minus two beta. Therefore, using the Hopkel method, we were able to generate to derive the energies of the pi conjugated system in benzene. Thank you very much for your attention. Have a good one.